After watching this video, I guarantee you will never meal prep the same old boring chicken and rice again. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the juiciest chicken and the fluffiest rice you've ever meal prepped in your entire life, all using just one skillet, minimal ingredients, and a little bit of that anabolic ingenuity. If your meal preps have been leaving a lot to be desired in the flavor department, and you find it difficult to stick to your diet because you don't enjoy the food you're eating, then I'm telling you, give this stupid, simple, and super inexpensive recipe a try, because when you actually enjoy what you're doing, it makes losing weight and building muscle as easy as one. One, two, three. And for every one of my healthy, better for you recipes for weight loss and building muscle all in one easy to use place, that way you don't gotta reference YouTube all the time. Don't forget you can always grab a copy of my cookbook, which you can find at the first link in the description box. We have meal preps, breakfast, desserts, literally everything you need in here. All I ask is that if you get it, follow us in it, hold yourself accountable, and I guarantee you will see the results no matter what. Plus, you get it one time, you get every future recipe I have for free, so it's a heck of a deal. Hit that link down below to check it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if y'all are ready to have a little fun, then I am too. Let's go. Like I said, this is so simple. Anybody watching can whip this up in under 30 minutes. The first thing we need is a pack of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. We need 784 grams or a little under two pounds. The reason we're going with chicken thighs over chicken breast is because for not that drastic of a calorie difference, we still get the same amount of protein, a little more fat, but the overall flavor is so much better and it keeps way longer in the fridge. So if you want to be able to microwave this on the fifth day and eat it without throwing up, then go with chicken thighs every single time. So I'm going to go ahead and weigh out the 784 grams of chicken thighs. Typically that ends up being right about five, which is perfect. Boom, and there's five right there. But we're a little short, so I'll add a little bit more by cutting this one in half. And perfect, 784 grams. And now that we got the chicken weighed out, we need to season it. What I have here in this bowl is a combination of 15 grams of paprika, five grams of onion powder, five grams of garlic powder, one gram of Italian seasoning, and then a dash of both salt and pepper. After weighing this out, I'm gonna dump it in a large mixing bowl. We'll go ahead and shake it up to mix it. Then we'll just take the chicken thighs, we'll toss them down in. And now we'll just go in with some tongs, move the chicken around, let all the sides get coated in our seasoning blend. And once we got the chicken seasoned, I'll just move it over to a plate and we'll set it off to the side for now. And now we need to chop up an onion. You can skip this step if you want, but I think it adds a ton of flavor to this recipe. I'm just gonna create a thin little strip right here. Boom, and I'm just gonna go in, dice it up like so. Don't worry if you have any extra long pieces. When we saute these, we can always break them up with a spatula, so I don't worry about this being too perfect. And once we have the onions diced up and weighed out to 56 grams, it's time to bring this all together and start cooking. Now the first thing we need to do with these thighs is sear them for three minutes on each side. If you're unfamiliar with what that is, essentially you turn your burner all the way up, get this pan as hot as you can get, hit it with some nonstick, and cook these for three minutes each side. So a little nonstick. Now we just place the chicken right down in. And it's a perfect fit. And after we sear it for a few minutes on each side, it should be sizzling, popping, and look like this. Now what we wanna do is remove our chicken from the pan, set it on a plate, and then now while the pan is still hot, we'll give it a quick scrub to clean it up. When the pan's already hot, it's super easy. Now this is where everything comes together. We got the pan cleaned. What we're gonna do is hit it with a little bit of nonstick. Then we're gonna go ahead and saute our diced onions for about five, six minutes until they're translucent and aromatic. All right, we got these onions looking fantastic. Now what we wanna do is toast our rice in here with the onions. I have 225 grams of basmati rice that I've rinsed all the gluten off of and it's ready to go in the pan. I'm just gonna toss this in and we're gonna toast it for around one to two minutes. So all I'm gonna do is go in, spread it out, make sure as much of it as possible is coming into contact with the heat and we're just gonna let it do do its thing. And from here on out, it's easy. I have 600 grams of chicken stock here. You can swap with chicken broth if you'd like. I'm gonna pour that down in the pan. Then I'm gonna go in, stir everything up, scrape the bottom in order to deglaze. Then we're just gonna go in, stir everything together. And then finally, I'm just gonna take the seared chicken from earlier and arrange it in the pan like so. And this looks perfect to me. I'm gonna dump these juices down in here. And then now all I wanna do is put a lid on it, raise the heat to about a medium, and we're gonna let this sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. Literally, no stirring, nothing to do at all other than wait. When we come back to this, it'll be completely transformed. And you know what, while we're waiting, maybe I need a snack. And what better than an unreleased Anabar flavor like our milk chocolate monster cookie crunch. When you open it up, it's coated in milk chocolate and when you break it down the middle, it's got Reese's Pieces and pretzels in every single bite. This is hands down my new favorite flavor. Look at that, man. 
Mm. That is phenomenal. I don't have a solid release date on this flavor yet, but I will keep you guys posted as more info comes. As always, if you want to try out the best tasting protein bar in the world, with as of right now, six amazing flavors, you can always head over to theanabar.com. Use my code RGF10. You're going to save money, and I guarantee it is the best tasting protein bar you've ever had in your life. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Now, it's almost time to check on that chicken and rice and see how it's doing. Come on. And check it out, ladies and gentlemen, after 20 minutes of cooking with zero stirring, didn't even have to check on it, this is now perfectly finished. Truly set it and forget it. If I get in here and get the rice, if you look, it is super fluffy. It's absorbed a lot of that chicken broth. The seasonings, the juices from the chicken, it really is incredible rice. And then if we grab any of the chicken, watch how perfectly this is cooked. It's charred on the outside, but right down the middle, it falls apart. It is just juicy white meat chicken right in the middle. This is, in my opinion, the most tasty and healthy way to meal prep your chicken and rice. And at this point, the meal prep is easy. What I have is a plate here. I'm going to remove the chicken, sit it on a plate just like so. Then I will go through the large spoon and put rice in the bottom of each of these meal prep containers. And then once the rice is sorted, we'll just go in and put a piece of our chicken in each container. It really doesn't get any simpler or tastier than this right here, folks. And there we have it, folks. Just like that, in right around 30 minutes, we have five meals prepped and ready to go for the entire week. And the best part is, is that even on day five, we are actually going to enjoy eating them. You can literally tuck these in your fridge and eat them up to five days, or you can put a couple days worth in your fridge, put the rest in the freezer, and then the night before you want them, put them in the fridge, they'll thaw overnight and be just as fresh as when you originally sealed them up. Now, before I get to breaking down all the nutrition and we give it a taste test, I gotta ask you guys for a favor. If you could give me a thumbs up on the video, that would mean the world. Seriously, helps the channels out more than you know there's more content on YouTube now than ever before. So even that one thumbs up can do a ton to help the channel stay relevant and continue growing. Any comments you leave are appreciated. If you have a stupid, simple meal prep idea like this, leave in the comments below. Maybe I'll look into it and maybe you'll get a shout out. And also for more great recipes, weight loss, muscle building content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now, before this gets cold, let's break it down and try it out. Come on. All right, ladies and gents, here we go. Real quick, I don't wanna talk about this too long. We'll keep it short and simple. The apparel that I wear every day, literally 99% of what I wear is Young LA. They're the sponsor of this channel. For those of you that have went over to youngla.com and grabbed something, I thank you. You can use my code RGF to save money, and I guarantee if you just check it out, even the new women's line, the ladies that are watching, Young LA for her, I think you're gonna love it just as much as I do. You can always check them out, and if you do, it supports the channel, and I know you're getting a high quality apparel item. I mean, look at me. I look flawless, and it's thanks to Young LA. So anyways, guys, let's get into this. I just grabbed one of the Tupperware containers, you already see what we got. We got the rice, I did sprinkle some dried Italian herbs on top, and then we got the seasoned and seared chicken thighs. Let's go ahead and start with the rice. I told you guys, it was super fluffy, contains tons of flavor, and I wasn't lying. Hmm. That rice by itself is to die for. And then when it comes to the chicken, I already showed you guys how tender this was. Let me just rip a piece off of here. If you take a look at that, perfectly white in the middle, juicy, charred on the outside, pieces of rice falling off of it. <laughs> That's how I like it. Three, two, one, let go. Mm, I'm telling you right now, folks, whatever chicken and rice you've prepped in the past, I'm guilty of it too. That tastes like cardboard compared to what we did here. And surprisingly enough, we were able to do it without having it affect the nutrition almost at all. So tell me how this sounds. For all five of the meals in each one of them, if you divide it just how I did for each meal, you get 350 calories, only six grams of fat, 37 grams of protein, 37 grams of carbs with zero grams of fiber. This is what I call the perfect bodybuilding meal. Only six grams of fat, we're keeping that low. We get 37 grams of protein, which is a ton. And on top of that, we get an equal amount of carbohydrates, so it's not really lean in either way. You're getting a good balance of carbs and protein while keeping those fats minimal, 350 calories. Anybody watching can fit this right into their diet. It's gonna taste amazing. Most importantly, it was easy to prep. Only took you about 30 minutes, which I think everybody watching has 30 minutes. One of the best investments you can make is with your health. And putting that little bit of time in, meal prepping meals, taking control of your nutrition, not only do you feel better, sleep better, perform better, but when you look in the mirror and see you've lost some weight, those shirts that weren't fitting the best are now fitting better, a little tighter in the arms, a little slimmer around the waist. You get filled with a sense of accomplishment, sense of purpose, makes you want to keep trying hard. It gives you a goal to strive for. And that's why I always tell people diet is the most important part. You master this, you get this under control, you can literally accomplish just about anything you put your mind to. I truly believe that. And if this recipe looks good, keep in mind that every other recipe on the channel, everything from the crazy protein chocolate chip waffles to the pizzas, all that stuff, all the meal prep videos and recipes are available in a condensed version, which is my cookbook. If you're interested in taking your diet in your own hands and making food that actually tastes good, you can see results from eating. Make sure you check this out. It's available at the first link in the description. 
description box if you get it and you follow it i truly believe it's the best money you'll ever spend in your life i put that on everything appreciate you guys as always you rock you rock if you enjoyed this once again that thumbs up button means the world comments subscriptions also mean the world and if you want to see more meal prep simple videos like this y'all let me know because i have a million of these i can whip out thank you as always and until next time ladies and gentlemen i'll see every one of you at the next video see you guys boom 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 baby we gone oh.